Hello, this is Christian. Welcome to episode 3 of this Vehicles of the World series. <laughs> uh, Alright, so this part I'm going to implement the front page to instantiate these three objects. When we click on the boat or the car or the plane, I'm going to instantiate the car and then show the information down here. And in addition to that, we can also show the different functionality for this object like a start engine, stop engine, accelerate, brake, and so forth. All right, so let's go to PHP Storm. Now, this is the vehicle um, landing page. So um, I'm going to put my information right in here. All right, so when we navigate to a particular object, remember in the URL, when I click on, um, let's see if I go back, show you again. If I click on car, you see that on the, on the URL, it says object is equal to car. If I click on boat, it shows boat. Okay, so I want to get that and then display the correct object and instance information down here. All right, so let's do that here. Then my logic will be right in here in the main. <clears throat> um, maybe also I want to put a message to say something like we put it here. Um, oh, just a minute. I mean, okay, so, so instead of saying something very plain like this, I need to put a message saying, tell the user what to do, I guess, maybe like pick a car or pick a vehicle above or something. Okay, so so they kind of have an idea what that is, and then when they don't, when you click it start over, it will show pick a vehicle above, and then when you click on the boat or the car, and then we'll remove that in place with its content. At all at the same time, I'm not moving to any different page. I'm just reloading the same page again. So let's remember that every time when you reload the page, refresh the page, the data are gone, right? Any objects that you instantiate will be gone. So this is a perfect example of how you can use uh, serialization in PHP. Okay, so back in here. So instead of, um, uh, you know, doing if and else block, I'm going to try and then I'm going to use a switch in this case, all right? So the switch will be used to um, switch whatever whatever the object is. And um, so we can, we can do something like this, just like a regular PHP. We're going to check to see if it's set for the get the get um, object is set or not, right? If it's set, then go ahead and load that. Otherwise, if it's not set, then we can to load something. So the default here, let me I just put here, um, def not default, um, start over. I'll call it function to start over. Okay, so I'll, I'll write the function in the functions class uh, file, maybe in here, right? So this is for the header and shoulder folder. We got that already. So and the functions I need one for um, start over. Okay, so put some functions in here. For now, I'll implement this later. Let's go back. And so if if that's not the case, then we're gonna do a switch. So switch the get of object. I'm not doing a lot of uh, validation here at all. I'm just assuming that everything will be, you know, uh, correct. So when you do the switch, you could get either a car. If it's a car, then I'm going to call a function called uh, maybe create car. And then I'll, um, I'll break that. That's why I said that the break is a keyword, right? You don't want to use it, but um, you can still use it. It'll still be fine, but it's just not that safe. If it's a um, boat, then we want to call the function called create boat. If it's a plane, then create plane. And uh, else, you can have an else here at default, just in case. If, if it's default, then we can call a function to show something like show invalid. Okay, this is like, for example, if you literally just put something on the in the URL that does not match any of these, you can say invalid, okay, as a message. All right, so those are the logic. So let's go and create functions for each of these. In the functions file, I'm going to have one for um, create car I have a function for create a boat and then a function for create plane 
um, also have a function we up here for um, say show invalid that's what I call I think yeah we'll do the easy one first okay so the easy one this one here uh, we just put a, a very simple message just to say you know it's invalid so um, like a, a an error message or something so here I put echo and uh, maybe we put a h1 uh, just a h3 okay <laughs> uh, just say invalid option we'll close that here and we'll make this kind of like red so put a class I have an error message class before right it's from the unit tube I'm going to copy that over and put it into my CSS well just do that now I can create one right now really quick so inside my CSS I have an error if I don't have it already yeah it's not here so that error message messages color will be red and then uh, font type style will be italic use the same one okay so that's good for that one okay so that's the uh, invalid and then the start over will be again I'm using sessions because in order to uh, pass data across over the same page even though I'm refreshing it I have loose data so I want to be able to retain my car in my boat in my plane objects and its data when I refresh the page it, because when I do a, um, a acceleration I'm increasing I'm updating my data in the class and if you don't pass that object to the session that you not be able to retain those data and if you call the create car again it keeps recreating the object and I'll show you what that means in a minute here but for now for the start over then all I'm doing is just basically clear all my cache or my sessions so here will be session uh, on set just like we did the other the other uh, session video and the session destroy okay so all the things gone and then we'll put a message here um, maybe we can h1 something like uh, pick a vehicle type um, above right close my h1 okay so that should be displayed on the browser so if I save just to see what it looks like if I go to the browser and refresh I uh, probably got an error somewhere yeah that's 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 not if I do it start over yeah there you go um, yeah I don't have a session on here but as you can see pick a car or pick a vehicle above and addition initialize it because I don't have it yet but um, okay so we'll put that once I click car and then actually it shows the confirmation start over I see that every time okay so it's coming out really nicely so look at that all right so when I create the car this is the fun begins here what happens when I create the car well I'm gonna instantiate a car I do that first so car would be new car okay and then just for now I'm gonna show the information so I can say car uh, show information and that should be shown on the browser okay so we just go and save that and see what happens so car um, class car can I be found? oh yeah I forgot to in include yeah you got to include uh, inside the um, what's my ID yeah I have to include it inside the uh, the vehicle class otherwise it don't it doesn't work right it is not is not visible forgot that here include my function above here I put include the uh, uh, the classes the uh, base class and I just duplicate that yeah all those have to be here um, the boat car and then plane yeah those have to be visible otherwise I can't um, and they have to become before the function okay the function needs them okay so let's try again and car so here we go you see the car is the car type had a state yeah as you can see it doesn't work because um, state is true or false or it doesn't show the word here so you have to write another uh, function to actually print the the, um, the state is on and off here but the fuel level is 100 percent and the current speed is zero that's great and then how do we know how do we implement that feature how you can accelerate and then decelerate or a brake or things like that um, 
So we'll put maybe some again some buttons right below here to say start engine, stop engine, accelerate, brake, and so on. Okay, so uh, let's do that. But first, let's fix this uh, state engine here. I want to say true or false, uh, and then display the correct uh, message. So back to the base class. Uh, when we do the show information way down here, um, right here, right. So when I get the engine state, I'm getting true or false if it's so those are not visible. What that means, I have to create another function to test for that. So let's just do right in here. Um, maybe we'll just do a, a, a very simple one. What should we call it? Um, just to return the state of the car, I guess. Um, I'll put here public function. We'll call it um, hmm, get engine state. Um, that's already here. I don't want to duplicate that. Um, I guess show engine uh, state. I couldn't think of a better term. So, so this one here, we're gonna put a message to say something like um, a method to return uh, a a text, right? Of either on or off. And I put here PHP does not display um, true false uh, to browser. It doesn't. Okay, so that's what we need to do here. Um, and then I'll put here return something. So I have to check if the engine state, if it's true, then I will say return true. I mean, uh, on else and then it must be return off. That's all I'm gonna have to do here. Okay. And then so over here then we need to change that to say uh, show engine state instead of the get engine state. So I modify that. I have to show that in the boat as well, the boat class. I need to say show engine state. Okay. So let's go back and just test this first. Here we go, the car. So here we go. It's off, right? You want that instead of the blank and non blank. All right, so um, we got the car. Let's go ahead and add those uh, features for the car. And back in the function, so when I do that, I show the car. Before, after that, I want to show those information. So instead of, um, but how do I know uh, which one? I mean, like when I click on the, um, what happened? When I click on the, a particular a particular action I guess we can call those actions and so those action will be a link again to the same page so we'll put here um, so put here I guess show actions I'll call the function instead so we can see we'll put the actions down here okay and this will be applied to all these objects not just for car that's why so function show actions and then we'll just Put a simple HTML, it's just easier. I put here, um, it will be kind of similar to the navigation, so I'll just put here uh, actions. Wait, now we call it actions. I don't know. <laughs> and then here will be just a UL, like, just like above. So A, and then we have a link here. That is going to go to the same file, right? So you can use as before, like um, I mentioned earlier. So it'll be the um, server PHP self. Okay, that. Uh, but this time, I'm going to let me complete this first. This will be for uh, the uh, start engine. Okay, so when I append that. It's going to be, uh, I need to also show the current object, what current object this is, right? Um, because I don't know what object it is. It could be a car, a plane, or a, 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 the other, a boat. So how do I know? I still need to capture the first would be the object, whatever that is. And then, um, so that means I need to 
when I call from here, I need to pass the object to this function, right? So here I have to say a car, and then here would be the boat, and then the plane, and so on. So I, I put here the, um, just I just call object, I guess, for lack of a better term, and object equals to that object. So if it's a car, if it's a car, it'll be a car, planes, a plane, and so on. Okay, so that's my object, and then I put the next one would be the action equals to what action it is. So what type of action is this going to be? Um, I want the first one to be start. I just call it start to make it short. Okay, we'll that's what it start. And this URL will look like this. If you go back to the URL, it will look like this. Car, and then over here I have action is um, start. Okay, like that. Oh, there it is, right? So when I click start, you can see down here, it shows that action is car and then it start. If I go to the boat, it would show the same thing, but it would say boat start. Okay, so you can capture that again in the uh, in the file. So let's duplicate that a few times. Start engine, stop engine, um, well, accelerate and brake, right? Stop. This is for accelerate, and then this is for the brake. Braking, right? Um, I just put here brake, um, accelerate, and then stop. All right, so I think that's good for this one. I just have to add this class to the CSS so it looks good. So the, oops, the CSS, uh, I should I should have left it open. So uh, I use, use the same as the navigation. So that means all my, um, yeah, all these, these will be uh, the actions, UL. Actions, you ally, and then the same here. Act, dot actions, you ally hover, and then the link also, and then one more here. Okay, so let's see what it looks like. Let's reload. So there it is. Right, so when I start engine, you see this is action is car action start, stop is stop, and then accelerate, and I'm still showing the same car. Okay, if you don't pass the object to it, then it's not going to be unknown, and then you have the error. Right, so now when we start the engine, then we're going to call the start engine function in the class. Stop, you just invoke that, and then those should be a beautifully. Um, um, invoked and then it will display a message here as well to show the state of that uh, car. Okay, we're getting close. So let's go back and uh, see what we need to do next. So we got the actions here and we got the action set up. Then now when we show the information right below here, we did the actions. And so what happens after that? Well, when the action is um, on, Right, and then each time when we um, reload the page, we need to capture that action when we create the car. Okay, so because when the, if we are still in the car, it's going to call the car function. We check the action, and then the action is going to tell us what it is. So maybe right before the show here, we want to perform the action first. So up here, we need to check the get again is set. Get action. So kind of same as before, right? You do the switch again. If the action is a is a start, then we want to call the start engine, and so on again. So this will be usable for all these classes, objects. So again, back to functions. So maybe something like process action, and then we'll just pass in the uh, the object to it because we need to call like car um, arrow start car error or something. If I'm on a boat, is it boat does something. So therefore, I'm going to pass in the car object to this function called class process action. So down here, uh, let me just collapse that one. Yeah, so down here, I have a function called process action. 
and I have an object. The object would be the car of playing the boat. And so now we need to do a uh, another uh, switch. Okay, we need to switch again. Um, and uh, we'll put a uh, switch. Switch the get of action. We don't have to check that because we already verified above. It's there, right? Otherwise, we wouldn't get here. And if it's a uh, start, then we're going to go call the object a start engine. Uh, start engine. We call that function and then we break. Okay. And there are four of them, right? If it's start, if it's stop, if it's um, uh, accelerate, or if it's a break. Over here, um, breaking. I think we call it breaking. This is for accelerate, and then stop engine. Okay, so those are the things that will be shown, and these functions here will be uh, will print some messages to the uh, website. So let's go and take a look and see what this looks like. There we go. Let me refresh it. Uh, this still doesn't work because we haven't created the uh, session yet. So on the car, if I click on start engine. Okay, you say engine is on. So we can maybe style this to make it a little bit nicer. And if the engine is now on, if I click on stop, engine is off. Okay, if I click on brake, it's the engine is already off. If I accelerate, engine is need to be turned on. Okay, so these don't change. So we start engine. Okay, if I accelerate, it doesn't work or it does work, right? Why it says engines off? Okay, let's start. It's on, and we we'll accelerate, and it turns it off. Okay, so this is a reason why I mentioned that because every time when I click on this, you notice that the page refreshes really fast. We didn't see it, but it does refresh the page. Once you refresh it, it it's gonna call the car function, create the car, and it recreates the car again, which is why it doesn't work. All right, so when you create a car again everything gets reset to the off position. So when I try to accelerate, it's same as if already off. That's why it wouldn't work. All right. So therefore, when we need, when we after we showed the car, after we created the car object, we need to serialize it and, uh, um, you know, save that to the session. And then when we reload the page again, we need to unserialize it back so we can get the state. All right. So let's go and do that. Um, so up here, when we create the car, we create the car. We don't want to create this every time we reload the page. So what we do is you would check to see if, if there's a session call uh, a car already in there. If it is, if it is already, then we can um, we can just ignore the creation of the car. If it's not, then we need to create it, right? So. Uh, for example, this one here, before we do that, we do something like this and say if again is set the session for a car, right? If that is true, if there is a session already, then we want to set the car to the session of that car. Remember, this is a string. So it wouldn't work. You have to convert that to is an object. So you wrap that with the unserialize function. Okay. So you convert that to object. Then now car is now the object of whatever it was before, and then we get that back. If it's set, if it's not set, then we can go ahead and create the car. So car will be recreated brand new in there. <clears throat> okay. So that's what we want to do. Um, that once we recreated the car, after we create the car, we have to retain the car. We have to serialize it. Well, we don't want to serialize right away because we have to process some actions. After the action has been processed, whether we, because once we process the action, we update the state of those variables, right? So therefore, we want to do is down here, I'm going to serialize the car. Um, no, not, not the one. Sorry, 
the uh, session of the car is going to be the serialized of the car object. So I did my actions and, and, and so on, right? So we'll see if this works for now. So again, when I create the car for the first time, it checks it. No, this is not true. We're going to create the car object, okay? So a car object exists. And then we check for the action if there's any. If there's no action, we skip that. If there, then we're going to serialize the car and then save that to a session. And then we show the information. And then we show the actions. And then after I click on acceleration, then it comes back again. We call this whole thing gets repeats again. A check for the session car does it exist? Yes, it did because we created here. So once we created that, then we're going to serialize the car object back to the car. And then we'll skip this part. And then we check the action. We, we did the action already. We modified the action. We update the data. And then we serialize it back to the session. And then we show the current information. And the whole process gets repeated. OK, so save that. And let's go to the browser. And let's refresh this. OK, let's start all over. And I'm going to go to the car. OK, so now car state is off. If I accelerate, right? Please turn off engine, turn on engine. So let's go turn on the engine. So engine is on. OK, good. So we hope, so the engine should be stayed on when I refresh the page, OK? So even if I click on the car, um, yeah, that didn't work. Uh, what we'll see, it should stay on. So, oh, maybe I, I um, didn't do the action here. Let's try again. So start. OK, that's on. If I accelerate, yeah. OK, so something wrong. It didn't stay on. The, it didn't stay on. Let's check it out what, what it is. It should stay on. Let's take a look. Um, so my hope is maybe it's something here. Okay. Yeah, OK. So yeah, we did not turn on the session. That's why. So session start. All right, let's try again. I mean, it already gave me some clue, just I didn't catch it. When I do a reset, so you can see the error goes away. Okay, so we, we clear the cache, everything's gone. When I create the car for the first time, okay, the state is off. If I start engine, okay, it's on. If I click car again, you see that the car remains on, right? Because the session reloads it and reload that from the data. So now I can accelerate. You can see that it's speeding now, and I reduce my fuel by 5%. And I increased my speed by five for the car. So if I keep doing that, you see the numbers now retain and keep changing. If I try to brake, it says the vehicle is already stopped. Well, this is not true because um, so there's a there's a bug in the code. Okay, it should not be true. Um, so when I stop the engine, it says the vehicle is in motion. Why? Because the speed is still at 20 miles per hour. So we cannot turn off the engine until we reach a zero. So I have to keep braking. And so the braking doesn't work. Uh, but at least I can start engine. Is it is already on? Okay, great. So I can stop it. So now I cannot stop the engine because my brake is broken. So <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna crash. All right. So so far so good. So let's see what's going on in that uh, part. And we're uh, really close. So when I do the brake, the engine um, braking here, if the engine state is off, then it's already off. Okay, when the speed is, if the speed is uh, not, oh yeah, it should, I'm using neg negation here. I'm negative and negative, so it doesn't work either one or the other way around. So if the speed is less than equals zero, then stop otherwise. Okay, so that was the error, I think. Let's go figure it out again. Start over again with the car, start the engine, accelerate, so far so good, and decelerate. So here we go. I'm braking, reducing speed by five. I can't stop because the engine is still running. I can't start because it's already on. I accelerate. When I accelerate, the, the fuel goes up. And when I keep braking until I reach zero, so here we go, zero. And then when I reach zero, so the car is not moving, it stopped already. And I accelerate, it goes again, goes zero. And then now I can stop the engine. Um, engine is already off. So now this is not true, right? So when I stop the engine, it, didn't, it should stop because I'm not moving. So therefore, again, that is another error. Right, so base class, when 
Let's stop the engine. I'm thinking it's right here. It's an error right here. Okay, so when the engine is off. Ah, uh, yeah, I had this reverse. When the engine is off, then I would say engine is already off. Yeah, it's it's in reverse. Um, stop the engine. Yeah, so I can either turn this off. Okay, just remove that. If the engine is on, then we are going to uh, turn it off and then do that. Okay, so I think that's the only one, just that single thing there. Let's let's see what that looks like. Let's go again. Start over. Okay, start engine. Accelerate once. I go back. Now I'm at zero, and um, yeah, there you go. I can turn it off. Okay, so I think that's working very nicely now. Um, so you can see how this works for the car. And then uh, we're just going to do one more style here and then we're done with this long video again. So let's go back and uh, fix our information here when I display that status, I guess, right here. Um, the process action. When I process the action, I want to show a. Um, What I want to show, I want to. I'm thinking I have a. Um, yeah, I guess I'm printing a message each time. So let's put here, uh, I think, echo and h3. And we'll put here, we have a class, I call it uh, status. We open the tag and then we close the tag down here. And I'll put it into a H3. It's good enough. So the status, let's go to the CSS and add our status. Maybe down here. Uh, I'm just going to have a color of, uh, maybe we'll just use blue for this one. So we know that's all I want to do here. It has some a style to make it nice. Okay, so yeah, something like that. Engine is already on and stop and go and so on. Okay, so I think it's good enough for now. And so in the next video, I'm going to go and then implement the other ones for the boat, the plane. And then maybe I do a little bit of um, uh, a modification to make sure everything works for every object. Okay, so I hope this is helpful. Again, let me know if you have any questions.